वेलकम टू इंडियन मास्टर माइंड टूडे वी शैल डिसेक्ट द पूजा खेडकर के इस थ्रेड बेयर एंड फाइंड आउट हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फियास को आई होप बाई नाउ एवरी वन नोज दैट यू पी एस सी एज लॉज एफ आई आर अगेंस्ट पूजा एंड आई एस ट्रेनिंग इन महाराष्ट्र आफ्टर कास्ट एंड डिसेबिलिटी सर्टिफिकेट्स वेर फाउंड टू बी फेक इट ऑल्सो इश्यूड अ नोटिस टू पूजा एज टू वाई आर सेलेक्शन शुड नॉट बी कैंसिल सो The question is, who issued her one certificate after the other? Caste certificate showing her below creamy layer, health certificate showing her poor vision, another medical certificate saying that she was suffering from a mental disorder. The one-member inquiry committee of DOPT's additional secretary Manoj Devedi is expected to submit his report on January 26, but there are questions galore. which need to be asked to understand what went wrong and what corrective steps are needed to be taken not only puja kedkar but physical disability certificates issued to many other officers like nikita khandelwal amol aute praful desai priyansh khate to are being questioned many retired officers have pointed out that the 2019 batch UP cadre IAS officer Abhishek Singh to avail the physically handicapped quota claiming to be suffering from locomotor disorder but the officer suspended from the services for sharing his photographs on social media displaying his car emblazoned with observer election commission in life size fonts has been seen dancing away with bollywood actresses he has of of course resigned to find a job in bollywood but only to apply for reinstatement in the ias the request has already been rejected but the selection of people with such credentials does raise questions on the selection process on the other hand people with genuine, genuine disability like upsc csc air1 of 2014 batch ira singhal had to face a mountain of issues to get into the elite services similar is the story of a wheelchair bound kartik who despite four selections in the cse hasn't been allocated a cadre so what is wrong with the upsc is it losing its credibility or has it already lost it or we are actually missing wood for the trees is upsc unfairly being blamed while the fault lies elsewhere let's take puja khedkar's issue as a test case She appeared for UPSC CSC twice in 2019 and then in 2021. First time she claimed two quotas, OBC quota and person with benchmark disability PWBD quota. Because of a vision impairment, she cleared the exam with rank 7 to 1 and got into IRS. She was posted in Sports Authority of India as director. Next year she claimed a third quota as well that of mental disorder and therefore was accommodated in coveted ias in multiple disability md quota despite having slipped to rank 821 but as emerging facts are pointing out that her physical disability orders seem to be as fake as her obc below creamy layer credentials dopt guidelines mandate that only a person having over 40% disability would be accommodated in the pwbd quota strangely puja had only 7% vision loss still she was allowed to avail of pwbd quota in puja khedkar's case her immediate superior the district collector of pune dr suhas divase did raise a red flag but not about puja's caste certificate or her medical certificates he only pointed out her unjust demands overbearing attitude an authoritative tone even before her joining the field posting he too seemed oblivious of the unfair means used by puja so why did upsc blindly accept these certificates or does department of personal and training dopt accept these certificates and merely informs the upsc about various quota why ever sharp upsc interview board can't figure out whether the candidate is faking a disability and then why don't their colleagues and trainers at lavasna 
find out the reality where officer trainees spend at least 4 months together or their colleagues and superiors raise a finger during such candidates field postings indian masterminds put these questions to 1979 batch is officer mr vijay shankar pandey former additional cabinet secretary in up government and here is what he had to say basically certificate uh, issuance is with the authorities who are authorized to issue the certificates like the caste certificates are issued by the district administration so once they issue the certificate then every authority in the country is bound to accept it there are two three people who are responsible for this mess that we are in today as a country first the medical board before which she appeared and did not appear whatever the case as per the media reports she refused to appear before the medical board right. so so she should not have been given the appointment letter by dopt dopt and dopt officers are at fault they are complicit with her and those who were party to issuing this her appointment letter need to not only be punished but should be criminally prosecuted for having connived with her in this ill personal benefits so in fact central administrative tribunal cat to ruled on february 23 last year that pooja's candidature and selection in civil services examination 2021 was liable to be cancelled because she did not appear for the medical examination which is mandatory for joining all india services the two judge bench comprising justice m g sevlikar and bhagwan sahay gave this order while hearing an application filed by pooja claiming that there was no reservation in cse to people with disability under section 34d and approached cat as she was suffering from mental illness and blindness which are covered under the said act after upsc declared the result she was asked by dopt to come to delhi for the mandatory medical examination to avail the disability reservation the medical test was scheduled for 22nd april 2022 at aims delhi she told the dopt that she had contracted covid and her personality test and medical test should be postponed accordingly it was postponed to 26th and 27th may respectively she was asked to appear at safdarjang hospital on the said date it was again rescheduled to 1st july she did not appear for her examination once again after which it was rescheduled for 26th august she finally appeared for a medical examination on 26th august and the test was supposed to go on till 2nd september at aims delhi on the day she was supposed to undergo an mri of her brain by a neuro ophthalmologist in order to know the cause of her loss of vision she did not appear for the test despite repeated attempts by the duty officer to reach her the test was important to know and record the percentage of visual disability as a result of her extent of blindness could not be assessed on 25th november 2022 for two months after the flunk test she wrote to additional secretary dopt stating that she was suffering from claustrophobia and that is why she could not take the mri test the cat in its order quoted regulations 43 stating that pooja's candidature was liable to be cancelled as per csc regulations regarding medical examination the prescribed medical examination is an essential part of the civil services examination process and is therefore mandatory the rules further state that no candidate shall be appointed in any service through csc without completing med- medical examination the onus to cooperate fully shall be upon the candidates failure to complete the medical examination shall render such candidates liable to be cancellation of their candidature and no extra opportunity for completion of the prescribed medical examination shall be provided in any case the dopt rules prescribe that pwbd candidates to which puja belonged would be tested for confirmation by a benchmark disability expert panel bdep constituted at aims new delhi according to dopt under no circumstances any request 
for rescheduling of medical examination will be considered. The candidate should submit the medical examination report to the UPSC in original without fail and shall also keep a copy with him. The onus of appearing and fully cooperating in the medical examination process till its completion lies solely with the candidate. Failure to complete the medical examination process within the time schedule prescribed would render a candidate liable for cancellation of his candidature. If you can get false certificate, you can get it to IS through false certificate, then what is left? Then you can get anything anywhere in our country. Right. This is the most prestigious exam. DOPT is the directly controlled by the prime ministers and others. They directly keep a watch on this institution. UPSC is a, one of the most premier institutions of our country, constitutional institution of the country. If people sitting there have closed their eyes and are sitting there with shut eyes, you know, this is very unfortunate. And the country will pay a very heavy price for this. If it doesn't act now, it is incumbent upon the prime minister to immediately order that all those who have benefited out of these disability quotas should be asked to present before especially constituted high-powered medical board and justify their selection. And in case they are found to be lacking, then deserve to be dismissed from service without any you know, delay. And criminal prosecution must be launched, not only against the candidates, but also against those people who issued those false disability certificates. This was about the process. But let's return to Pooja's case once again. UPSC declared the final result of civil services examination 2021 on 30th May 2022, having names of 685 candidates. Pooja's name was on serial number 679. The DOPT released his second list of 784 candidates on 22nd July 2022. Pooja's name was mysteriously missing from this list. However, in the third list, consisting of 796 candidates up to rank 930, which was released on 26th July 2022. Pooja's name figured at rank 821 and she had been allocated IES under the OBC and multiple dis disability MD category. The rank was list is released by DOPT in various editions. The iterations are needed because some of the selected candidates are allocated the same service to which they were already serving. For example, a person already working in the IPS, if again gets allo allocated the same service. In such a case, the candidate do not join the service. Hence, the UPSC reserve list comes into play and the commission recommends more candidates from the reserve list. This leads to multiple lists till the last vacancy is filled. Again, back to Pooja Khedkar case. The question is, how was she finally selected in the IES despite the February 2023 CAT order? And why her fake certificates could not be detected till now? This question can be answered only by UPSC and the DOPT. They are the organizations which have to take corrective steps so that no more Puja Khetkars are selected in the UPSC. You can also write your suggestions in the comment box as to what steps UPSC, DOPT and the Government of India need to take to have a completely transparent and fair selection process. Thanks for watching Indian Masterminds. Please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications. Stay curious, stay informed, stay tuned.